up everyone this is the Kenwood NX 220k3 k3 has all the keypads and the DTMF keypad as well the k2 only has this band the k1 doesn't have any keys that's the difference there's three different models for the 220 right here is the programming software I got lucky got my hands on some and this is the uh, uh, what do you call it it's the com port software for the programming cable which is right here that's the programming cable and as you can see it plugs into this side right here so this is the basic transceiver I already have the uh, belt clip installed there's two screws Phillips easy to install you have to take the battery out to install it you know basic things there's the power you turn on and that's the volume that's your channel selector, boom. Zone selector, that comes stop like that. I uh, program this for the scrambler encryption, data or analog voice conversion. This for the scan feature. That's all I have, and this is the battery. Comes with it, comes with a rubber duck antenna. There's what the connection looks like, and that's what that looks like. So, there's that. And then also, came with the charger and has the cord I just had it hooked up. All for $400 uh, except for the software is about $50 and this cord is about $12. Anyways, I'm not going to tell you where to get it. Don't ask me. Uh, you can find it if you look hard enough. People do sell these radios. You just have to look. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to put the antenna on. The screws on. There. Don't tighten them too much. And I'll have to slide it down with the battery. It just slides on there clips. Simple. Anyways, there's a fully simple uh, Next Edge radio. This is a digital radio. It's also analog. You can run digital NXDN or analog. Uh, it also has NXDN trunking, LTR analog trunking. And the only thing that sucks about this radio is you have to use the programming software to program the radio. You cannot program this thing without the software. So that's the only thing that sucks about it. Now I'm going to try to hurry up. My battery's about to die. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to turn it on. I have it programmed where there's a password that you have to enter. It's six digits. And after you enter it, you hit the star. So let's enter it. Six digits. Star. All right, here we go. Hit the scan. Turn the volume up. Boom. I'm gonna set this down. Anyways, I have basic things programmed in here. Uh, no one on right now. Anyways, that's the backlight button that comes stop in there. Anyways, here's your channel, channel selector. I was upside down. Anyways, there it is. Seven four three Henry William Queen from back on two thousand one Mercury Utility with okay. Jennifer Tiffany for a Benjamin Zone Bart. Change. There's my NXDN channel. Let me focus a little bit more. Piece of shit. Anyways, uh transmit right there doesn't show anything on the screen this little button you see right there that's encryption that's my encryption key you turn it on or off now I programmed five different encryption keys for the digital NXDN mode you can pro uh, program up to 16 what you do is you hit that button first and then you hold it down boom and you can name your different encryption keys there's a B, C, 
D or E. And then once you select that, hit that again. And now we're on encryption E. I got another radio coming, so we'll do some experiments with that. And we'll do some analog versus digital. Okay, here's another question that everyone's going to ask. Can you listen to an NXDN trunking system with one of these radios? Short answer, absolutely not. Uh, you'd have to be really good with computers, and I mean really good, to do that. Because you'd have to manufacture a whole bunch of code. And, uh, basically, the software, software won't let you... Uh, it won't let you program a trunking system in here unless you have the system key. And you're not going to get that system key unless you own a repeater and you have to have that electronic serial number to activate that software to make the system key. So, sucks on that part. Anyways, now a lot of people are going to be like, well, couldn't she just program it for conventional on NXDN and decode, you know, put the individual different channels on the trunking system on here and decode it. Uh, another answer is no, it sucks, I know. But, no, you can't. Because when the radio senses that uh, there's NXDN trunking information in the radio waves, this radio, you can program it for that channel, but when, that, uh, when the uh, channel is active, the speaker goes on mute, and that's in the radio's code plug, so good luck modifying that. And there's little known about these radios. I'm trying to break it out and, you know, get it out there that, you know, you can't do that and what Next Edge is all about. Basically, when you're on a Next Edge, uh, a Next Edge trunking system, it's pretty much encrypted, like really tightly encrypted. The only other thing... I mean, it's not literally encrypted, but it's just secured where, you know, a, an, an unauthorized radio cannot get on there. Now, you might be able to use DSD with a scanner and do a discriminator tap, all that stuff. And you might be able to decode that NXDN. Maybe, I don't know. I've never messed with it so far. I'll mess with it. But anyways, uh... As long as it's not encrypted. If it's encrypted, you're screwed unless you really know what you're doing. So, overall, that is a short demonstration. I got the miles per hour. At home where the temperature was 49. Relative humidity 20. Tells you the battery. It's, it's a real nice radio. It's, you know, it's pretty heavy and bulky, but there you go. I uh, got it for $400, got a steal, and I went ahead and bought another one, because I think the MSRP for around 700 Now, I'm going to turn the volume back down, actually I'm going to turn this off. That that you heard right there was NXDN, but there's a catch to that. See, here where I live, the police and the fire went NXDN. Trunked system. It's not a conventional system. Otherwise, I'd be able to probably listen into it as long as it wasn't encrypted. Anyways, uh, so what they did is they weren't complete assholes here where I live. And instead of just shutting everyone out like some places do... Uh, what they did is they simulcast the digital system on the old analog system. That way you can still hear it, you know, with a regular scanner. Uh, they did reduce the power on it, probably for power consumption reasons, but they built a new Next Edge tower and police and fire run off that. And there's no way to get into that, really, so... Like I said, we'll try that discriminator tap thing and see if we can get into it. But no, eh, there's no point because they simulcast it anyways. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I'm nearing 10 minutes. And I will catch you in the next video. We'll talk about the software.